I've been working with Mamadou's language in Burkina Faso for, for five years now to try and document it and archive it and write a grammar of the language and a dictionary of the language um, so that it won't be lost completely because it's unwritten. The first time I met Laura, who told me five times, I was surprised. Et en même temps, elle a découvert que Senku, on peut le parler aussi avec le balafon. So Senku is a tonal language, like most African languages are, which means that the pitch that you pronounce a word on can make a difference in meaning. I mean, ch completely change the meaning of the word. If you say ga with an extra low tone, it means the ground. If you say ga with a rising tone, it means dry. And so because of this musicality and the pitch of the language, you can start to get a sense of how you could play it on the balafon and speak on the balafon. For me, it was this sort of dream situation where you really get to bring your research and your teaching together. For the last four years, we've been working together to try to figure out this balafon system and how it intersects with the language. And, you know, so it's always been this sort of crazy idea, like, well, what if, what if we could sort of teach that in the classroom? Like, what would that look like? Having Mamadou there for an entire quarter really allowed students to interact with the tradition on a human level in a way that I think just kind of dropping in, demonstrating what the music sounds like, and then leaving again doesn't. When we started the balafon lab in Mamadou, it would say a phrase and then play a melody on the balafon and expect us to play it back. <laughs> and uh, some of us were kind of shocked. Uh, I, I was excited, honestly. I'm majoring in music and neuroscience and minoring in linguistics. Both ways of teaching are informed by very deep, rich, complex traditions, right? Sort of Western academia and the study of linguistics and music and this incredibly rich tradition of the balafon. Following the residence with Mamadou, one of my students got so excited about the balafon and, and working with Mamadou and learning about this tradition that he actually got funding from Dartmouth to accompany me to Burkina Faso. We spent three weeks there together, getting a taste of what it's like uh, in its context. Je suis trop content de ça que mon tradition ne reste pas au village de Région Samla. Et là où on part, c'est un coup, c'est très petit. Et maintenant, ça a commencé à grandir. Et je suis très content que mon langue ne voit pas perdue dans du monde. <musique>